though, that we have two people who know what they're doing. We also have a landscape architect who's invested 18 and months I think there are a lot of, people of working in this room with the board, <laughs> and we should not ignore that. Right. A lot of staff time and board time has also been invested I, I, in getting to this point. I do agree that it would be very helpful to get you know, some input from the children's department, you know, things that, some concrete of how we, ha you know, the Shakespeare in the Park, how we have in fact used that space. Um, and I think it will help everybody's understanding of what the various goals ver of the various parties are for the use of that space. Um, so, all right, so I, I, think you're very, I, I think you're very smart too. For the right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's been moved and seconded. Jane, can you call the roll on that one? Mm -hmm. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Olafson? Aye. Trustee Barshes? Yes. Okay. All right. That's it, guys. <laughs> the rest of it is insurance policies, building equipment reserve, which is sort of related. But um, I don't anticipate for anyone who's here and has faithfully paid attention to this conversation that there will be any more on the landscape. So if it's time to go home, you can go home. <laughs> but we do have more. We don't get to go home. We don't yeah, get yes. to go home. <laughs> That's okay. Um, the next one is a resolution to transfer resolution number uh, 20. Per capita. No, capita. Did I miss one? Yes. Per oh, per capita. Per capita. How could I forget the per capita grant so application? Okay. I move approval of the capital grant application as presented. Second. Thank you. Uh, that does not require a roll call. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. Um, let's see if I stop checking things off and I. I skip things. All right, now we go to resolution number 2018-19-196, authorizing transfer to the Building and Equipment Reserve Fund. The amount transferred is the amount allocated in the Budget Incorporation Ordinance. It's located behind Attachment 7. I move approval of the ordinance. Can I get a second? Aye. Okay. To second. Been. I second it. Okay. Um, Question. Somebody please explain that. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yes, the um, the budget includes. So there's a special reserve fund, right. which libraries are permitted to create, which are used for uh, capital projects. And in our budget, there is authorization that if there's excess money, that the board may choose to take that excess money from the general operating fund and transfer it to the special reserve fund, which is essentially a capital fund. So the budget allows the board to do so if it turns out there's extra money to do it. And tonight we're about to debate whether or not we should take that extra money and put it from the general operating fund to the special reserve fund. And the landscaping project, I said there was going to be nothing on landscaping. Well, there is. <laughs> landscaping project will be paid out of the building and equipment reserve fund. It also is the way, the means by which we have kept the building current, mechanical systems, et cetera, and other capital expenditures without the need to borrow money. And Anthony has tasked himself with the task of um, uh, going through, particularly now you have a construction manager who might be able to talk with you about some of these things, some of the things that we know will have to be dealt with in the future. Uh, the biggest one after this, it's never over because um, this building is always being used, is probably renovations to the basement. Um, the lower we, level. For the lower level. Yes, I'm sorry, not the basement. Uh, <laughs> Branding. <laughs> the lower level. Uh, and that presents its own. It's not just, it requires thinking about what do we want to use the space for. That's, that's right. it's Another not just question. what are the challenges, which are many. It's starting to think about how that space should be used, and so on and so forth. And 
So Anthony is going to start thinking and developing for sort of a a media short range, medium range, longer range plan for the use of those that it's simply not accumulating funds because we like to accumulate funds. But we have a building that is used by over a thousand people a day. Um, and wear and tear. Plus ch how change in how people are actually using libraries. So There is another that needs to be on the list always. Parking. Oh, parking. We have 11 roofing surfaces oh, roofing. Okay. on That's this building. Parking. They are on different level, or different terms in terms of their warranties. Mm -hmm. And it is our intent not to have to catch up to a leak, but to stay ahead before they happen. Because a building with books doesn't do well if the roof is leaking. <laughs> so that is a constant. The parking issues that are under discussion with the village also are a constant. And at some point, uh, we may actually be able to deal with that issue realistically. Um, uh, village maintenance of the lot that they control is poor, and it would improve safety of all of our patrons if we were in a position to unify those lots. We are not currently because we don't own the village portion. So those are the primary capital issues that we're facing, in addition to just the normal issues that occur with maintaining a building that gets as much use as this one does. So, um, we have a, it's been moved and seconded that uh, we transfer $300,000 to the Building and Equipment Reserve Fund. Um, can I get a roll call on that? Trustee Johnson. So I vote no. You might recall I had an amendment a couple months ago because I think we have enough money in our capital reserve fund at the just, moment. No, so, okay. We so take the vote. that's why I'm voting no because there's enough. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Laughlin. Aye. Trustee Varshus. Yes. I okay. would like to add that in our present year budget, which we and levy, which we just adopted, there is no plan transfer. Um, renew of our insurance policy. Last year, you may recall that we. Was it just a year ago? Or was it just one year ago that we entered um, in, uh, got our insurance instead of through the private broker that we'd used for many years, but now that Illinois has a, a consortium, uh, we... Um, no, that's several years ago. Pardon? That's several years ago. You're talking about the risk... Yeah, so well, this is the new insurance policy. So we, we, it's now time to uh, renew our policy, uh, renew their pro program with them. Uh, that information is located behind uh, tab eight. Uh, it's going, it's, it's, it's a little, you know, it's a little higher. It's basically the same cost. Um, pardon me? It's a 1% increase. Yeah. Um, Last year, we had the folks from Lyra out here to discuss it with them. You know, it sort of is our habit, you know, when we had the broker, we would not have them come out every year, so we did not elect to have Lyra come and talk to us. Um, you may want to do that every three or, you know, I, know. Every I always think it's a good idea, especially when a new trustees come on, that it might be yeah. when they come on to, to um, have the Lyra come to the meeting. Just to explain the whole insurance um, issue and how it works with the consortium, they actually do a lot of risk management. They did a risk analysis that was um, very useful, and they they I mean, our cost, the insurance cost has gone down significantly with, with um, libraries of the Illinois Risk Agency. I know we use a lot of acronyms, but LIRA, um, so it's a consortium of many libraries, big libraries, small libraries, and we sort of pool our resources to get the best prices on insurance. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I think they should come out every year because our our um, the vendor used to come every year. Um, Ron, who's he? We don't use him anymore because nimble, nimble. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now, it, there's this. Is this 
Do we add this on to the, it's two pieces or is this part of it? The, um, the at, Hartford. Look at E. Good? You, you can do them together. Okay. Because they're both insurance. Okay. So we've got two things here. We've got the general and then we've got a workers' comp piece as well. Um, but they're all through Lyra. Lyra. Uh, the, the property I move to cash accept them. Thank you. <laughs> okay. In the amount of 23 plus as 10. Indicated. As indicated. As stated. Yes. Let's say not to exceed 40000 for... No, that's not it. That's 23, 23, 23. I know it's way over, but the fact is we got a rebate from this program last year. So not to exceed, you got 23 and 10, roughly, 11. But you want to set it at 35 then. Right. You know, okay. But the point is that both of them, we have a 1% increase on the employee, I'm sorry, on the property casual portion, and we have a 4% decrease on the premium for workman's comp. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's costing us less yeah. I know. to Let's stay see. in this risk group. And part of the reason is that a major portion of it is self-insured mm -hmm. by pooling library resources across, I don't know what the number of libraries is currently, but it's a substantial number of libraries pooling their insurance risk, and it has been very effective. We've actually received a rebate from them because costs were less than was projected, even given our conservative history. Okay, so, you know, this is, this is a bargain. So it's almost 9.30. Yeah, we have a motion. Can you get a roll call on that one, Janet? Second. Ben? Second, I second it. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin? Trustee Barges? Yes. Yes. All right, uh, director's report. In the interest of time, I will um, direct you to look at, at my report. Um, it's, it's rather lengthy, but uh, there's one piece that I, I would love to celebrate with you all this evening. Um, Library Journal, which is one of the respected um, journals in our industry, um, has an annual star ratings um, designation that they assign to libraries that meet certain credentials. And Wilmette Library um, has now been recognized as a star library. This is our first time as with that designation. Yes. Um, as such, we rank among the top 30 libraries nationwide with a similar annual budget. And we are counted among the top 3.5% of public libraries in the United States. Yay. Congratulations, Wilmette Library. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, there are a number of measures that go into to, to influencing that. Um, it relates to our overall circulation, circulation of our digital materials, um, visits to the library. We talk about over a thousand visits per day, our strong program attendance, and use of our public computers. Um, and then all of those factors are then um, put together into um, a, a metric that um, calculates what those figures are, and that's how we've arrived at that. So um, the article is included um, under tab nine. I encourage you to take a look at that. Um, we're excited about that de designation. This is for, um, I cannot take any credit for this. Um, I have, this is all uh, calculated on statistics um, from July 2015 through June 2016. Um, so they're, they lag a couple years behind, um, but um, we, we aim to try to keep those numbers oh, yeah. um, going forward. So. so you're gonna get four stars next year? <laughs> hey, no. we can aim for it, right? Um, Thank you. Right. Um, what does it take to get to four stars? Well, five is the max, so. <laughs> yeah, I think for five. next board meeting, we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, it is late. Um, um, maybe we should. Uh, how about the communication committee? Why don't we. We Come met twi twice briefly, and basically what we've decided was we're looking at ways to become more transparent. Some of the suggestions have been to have community public meetings prior to major projects. Also, mm -hmm. in the um, newsletter that comes out twice every other month to have what's new in there to highlight projects as well as to utilize the uh, Internet mm -hmm. and social media. Also, we're looking at reviewing a policy and so the policies will be sent to the board to review because it needs to be fine-tuned, such as 
what goes into public, you know, in terms of just clarifying the public comment section, which was handed mm -hmm. out. And so Anthony has one that was used at his place, and so there's some elements to both. And so we'll send it out to you tomorrow, and love your response by the 30th. This month? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Jan, why don't we put off the... Or, That's fine. Okay. Um, the library will be closed for, um, you know, around the holidays. Um, there was a wonderful um, holiday party, which I was pretty sad to miss, but... Uh, and nomination papers have been submitted. And the rest is, you can read yourself. Um, have a very... Nice holidays. holidays. Happy New Year. Yeah, Come to the we have a closed meeting. Pardon? We, we have, have a closed meeting. meeting. Oh, fooey, that's right. We do have a closed meeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's small well, I'll say happy holidays to everybody else. Happy New Year. Yeah. Uh, closing come. the meeting. Pardon? We need to close. I move okay. that we move to executive session in compliance with the Open Meetings Act to review minutes from previous board meetings. I second. <laughs> we need a second? Yes. I second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. That requires a roll call.